One of the most dangerous scaffolds a scaffolder has to erect is a suspended scaffold. To be able to do this in tube and fitting, first of all they need to get an access up to the steelwork or beams or whatever it's going to be suspended off. Then they have to climb along it, crawling along the steelwork. Then they have to fasten a drop tubing with a T-section on and then they have to drop down. With Hackey it's totally different. We'll build the bay and the last thing we do is actually fix it to the structure. So before we start erecting we need to set the only extra component that we'll use which is the erection brace. To do this from the end of the tube where the hook is we measure 2 metres 620 to the centre of a swivel fitting and tighten off. And then we put a check fitting above it and that's then complete for a 305 bay. Other sizes are needed for other size bays. Once we preset the erection braces, we then bring them up to where we're going to start erecting our suspended scaffold. First of all, three sets of pockets above the platform level, 1.5, will set a check fitting. Then onto this, we put the swivel of the erection brace above it and we repeat the same on the opposite side, making sure that the hooks are facing inwards. Next, we slide a 305 ledger beam down and catch the hook on the third stiffener from the end. Next, we swing the 305 ledger beam out and attach the one end into the pockets of the standard at platform level. Then we repeat on the opposite side. Next, using two men through the guard frame, we slide eight decks out until we reach the erection braces. Before we fit the remaining decks, we need to create our safe zone again. To do this, we put two guard frames at the sides first. Using a 305 ledger beam to support the back end while the second person fits it into the pockets. And now, to the two side guard frames, we attach a double rider, then put a guard frame in it, creating a leading edge. We then slide that along until it comes above the stiffener on the side ones, and then tighten it off. Next, we could slide out three more decks. We push them out till they come to the front edge of the beam riders. With the gap created by the erection braces, we put an infill plate in so that we don't fall down the hole. Now we can release the leading edge guard frame and push it along to the front edge so that it is over the stiffness. In this particular case, we're going to fix our standards to 750 beams. So what we're going to do is turn the standard upside down and insert a punch and unit 50, holding it in place by a 16 mil pin and chain. Now, using two men, one to hold the standard, we're going to push it out over the side, then lift it up and connect it to the ledger beam at the platform level. Then we're going to attach the side guard frame to it. After that we repeat on the other side. Next we're going to attach the scaffold to the permanent structure. To do this we need to be able to bring it back up level. So what we'll do is we'll attach a 305 ledger beam upside down into the pockets so we're using the strength of the pockets to lift it up. Onto that and around some part of the permanent structure we'll put a ratchet strap so that we can ratchet the structure up so it becomes level. Now we can insert two 12 mil spring pins into the punching unit which will suspend the scaffold. Now to complete the first bay all we need to do is put a guard frame in the front elevation and a ledger beam at platform level. Now we're ready to remove the erection braces from the sides. If we need to carry on either to the front or the side, we just repeat the process one bay at a time. If we want to drop down below, we can do this two metres at a time. In order to do it, first of all, we need to attach a one board bracket to a beam rider. Then we sit the beam rider over the ledger beam that was previously installed, getting it in between the gap in the guard frame below. Next, we'll rest a guard frame onto the two brackets. Now, we'll get a two metre standard, turn it upside down, and in the top set of pockets, we'll attach our rope with hook on. And then we'll push it outside and lift it onto the guard frames using the middle two sets of pockets. Then we repeat it the other end. Next, between the two standards on the bottom set of pockets, we'll fit a ledger beam. Now, with a man on each rope, we'll lower the framework down and then offer it into the standards above, lift it up and pin and chain it with a 16mm pin and chain. 
Now repeat the same process on the other side. Now, using advanced guardrail tools, we're going to fit a guard frame into the front elevation on the lower platform. Now, we're going to release the leading edge guard frame, draw it back towards us two decks, and then retighten it off. Over the leading edge guard frame, we're now going to lower two boards using the deck lifting tools. Before lowering any more decks, make sure that you remove the infill plate and then we can proceed to carry on. Now, we'll draw back the leading edge guard frame, another two decks, then lower them decks. Then we repeat the same process until we get to the end. Now, moving out the leading edge guard frame as we go, we replace the first ten decks on the upper level. The last three will be left out so that we can create an access down to the lower level. Now, using the rope with hook on one end, we lower the stairs down and fit into place. To create an access onto the stairs, first of all we need to put a BRS onto each side ledger beam. Then we fit a ledger beam between the two. On top of that, we then put a punching unit and a standard onto the punching unit. Now, on the opposite side for the access, we put a double beam rider over the side guard frame and between that and the standard we put in earlier, we'd fit a guard frame. Before I access, I need to clip on. Then, as I access down on the stairs, I need to fit a ledger to fill in the gap between. Next, to create the access on the lower level, we're going to repeat the procedure as we did above. However, this time, instead of putting a punching unit and a standard, we're going to put an intermediate standard fitted between the upper ledger and the lower ledger. Then, as above, using a double rider, we're going to fit a guardrail between the double rider and the intermediate standard. Then, to close the gap, we need to fit a ledger beam to the side and a BRS on top of it. Now, between the BRS and the intermediate standard, we'll fit a ledger beam. Next, we would fit the leading edge guard frame and slowly move it across till we get to the back elevation. At this point, we can then fit our guard frame and ledger beam at platform level. And finally, all you need to do then is fit the tow boards. The best way to make sure you have it right is by having the locking catch in your right hand. Mm -hmm.